Another way to edit a design is through reshaping. The reshaping icon will let you make changes in the shape of an object. First, click on the object to select it, and then click on reshape. If an object is grouped, the first object to stitch in the design will have the reshaped points appear around the object. If the object is ungrouped, the object that you click on will have the reshape points around it. You can reshape whether an object is grouped or ungrouped. The yellow square that you see at the end of this design is used to create a point or turn a corner, while the blue circles that you see form curves. The line with the peach squares at the end show the angle of the stitches. It's very easy to change the angle by clicking and dragging on one of these peach squares and moving the line. And you can see how the angle of the stitches follow the line that is in between these two peach squares. The angle instantly updates. And if you don't like the change, all you have to do is click on undo. Now you can also move, add, delete, or change the reshape points. To move a point, simply click on that point and drag it away. And you can see how the shape automatically updates. Notice how the selected point also is now dark blue. If I wanna add a point, all I have to do is either right click or left click on the outline that you see around the shape. If I left click, it's going to add a square point if I right click, it's going to add a curved point. To delete a point, I can select that point and press delete on the keyboard. If I want to change a point, say I want to change this into a curved point, I first select it and then I press the space bar on my keyboard and it will change that yellow point to a blue circle. You can also change a yellow square to a rounded point by selecting it first and then pressing the space bar. This green square that you see is the start point of this object and the red cross that you see is the end point of the object. We'll talk about changing starts and stop points a little bit later. If I want to go to the next object in this sequence, I just press the tab key and the next object will automatically have the reshape points around them. If I need to go back in the sequence, shift tab will take me back. And as I tab through this, it will continue to select object by object. When you are finished reshaping, just press escape to get rid of the reshape points and save your changes.